Hey guys, it's Joey. Got a coral package today from Frag House Corals. Took part in their live sale. And uh, it's just a little unboxing. Show you what I got. And uh, a little bit of my cat. the boxes. She'll probably jump in there. Everyone always likes to talk uh, about packaging in these videos. Everyone's like, oh, this is, this is great packaging. So if you hear me say, this is great packaging. I'm really just making fun of everyone who says great packaging in their videos. I think we got an ice pack uh, in here. Uh, we are in Texas. Craghouse Corals is in Texas, just outside of Dallas. So it's part of the free shipping module. Uh, you get a Frag House Corals t-shirt. Size extra large for me. You know, I'm pretty, I'm a pretty big guy, so. Some coral glasses. Not sure if I'll ever use those, to be quite honest. And then a little bit of a sample for the coral food. And I'll try that out, why not? My cat is going to be messing with those glasses, so. So these guys feel a little bit cold. This is my free, free frag right here. So as part of the pre-module shipping as well, uh, you get a free frag, you get the glasses, the t-shirt, and uh, this guy. So, Frag House Corals Wildberry. No idea what that is. Let's talk about some of these other guys. Jason Fox, PC Rainbow. Bird of Paradise. I got this guy for a dollar. Hot Zone Millie. Probably my favorite piece in here is this Hot Zone Millie. Purple Power. This one looks pretty cool as well. Green Slimer. That was the first purchase of the day. Every tank should have a Green Slimer, right? Here we have the Golden Basket Majestic Millie. This guy looks awesome as well. I love, love me some Millie's. My cat is all over this thing. All right, so I'm not sure what he uses to stick these labels on here, but it didn't stick very well. But no problem, I get the point. So I'll go ahead and soak these guys, and then I'll talk a little bit about my new, new process that I'm gonna do for dipping corals. Okay, here we are at the sump. These have been uh, acclimated for, I don't know, 25, 30 minutes almost. So part of my new process is I'm gonna start doing a, really? You don't like that top right there? Seriously, Mona? All right, back to the video. What I'm gonna start doing with all my new additions for corals is a, a five gallon water change. This is too entertaining. This is better than anything I have to say. What are you pissed off about? We keep it professional here. So what I have here in this bucket is my new fresh water. Uh, this other bucket with a small pump. Um, I'll just suck some water out of the, the sump here. Fill it back up with those five gallons. And then that water that I drained will be the water that I use in my new dipping process. So. We have here, let's go to Family Dollar, get some cheap, cheapo things we can use. 
for only this process. So we have the smaller one here. This will be for the bear only. This one is gonna be a rinse one, and then we have a rinse two. And we'll, uh, I'll have plenty of water left over, so we'll probably give it a, a little bit more of a rinse. Maybe in rinse two, I'll drain it down a little and uh, add some more fresh water. Uh, this will make sure everything is rinsed off with the, the bare dip. We'll go ahead and put it in the tank. So that's kind of the new process, not much to it, but I think that will give me a little bit better success. I recently had a problem with some flatworms that got in, so I need to buy a magnifying glass so I can check these, these plugs for any eggs and things like that, or, or I might just start popping them off the, the original plugs. Uh, usually I only pop off the plugs if they look excessively gross, so. We will see. Um, she is terrorizing this process. So I would leave a cat out if you can. Um, I wouldn't add a cat to this process. It really just complicates the whole thing. Uh, but that's my cat. Okay guys, here are all the frags the next day. Um, I have to say that you know, I'm not, not disappointed in these frags. I think they're all pretty good. The only one I could say I'm a little bit disappointed in is uh, is going to be this hot zone Millie back here. Pretty small, maybe about three quarters of an inch instead. Um, and it was one of the more expensive ones that I bought out of the the pack. And I don't I don't think it's going to do very good. I think this is doomed. Um, I don't know. Maybe I need to curve my my expectations because. You know, there are two two frags of it, kind of in one. Um, so I guess maybe you can you can add that up to an inch and a half. But we'll, we'll see how that goes. That's the only thing I can say I'm disappointed about. The color on these corals is amazing, right? I don't have any filters on right now. I can throw the gel filter on in a second. And the colors are awesome. And I just... Just pointing maybe a little bit in the in the scale of some of them. Some of them definitely looked a little bit bigger in the pictures, and I thought that um, getting one week later shipping, I would have a little bit more encrusting. Um, but there's really no encrusting from that hot zone Millie, and then the Birds of Paradise looks like it was almost brand new put on there, which doesn't make much sense because I, I saw it before. But overall, things are looking good. So we'll kind of walk you through these corals. Birds of Paradise right here. This is the Vin Jr. Frag House Corals. This is called Purple Power. Pretty nice one. And here we have the Jason Fox PC Rainbow. And right here, the Green Slimer. Why not? Everyone should have a green slimer. I gotta say though, the coloration on this green slimer is absolutely amazing. So whatever they're doing there, putting in the water at Frag House Corals, they're definitely doing it right. Come back up to the front here, and we have, oh man, what is this one? Oh, this is the free one that I got, the Wild Berry. This one is, is gonna look pretty awesome. It looks really um, pink right now, pink purple-ish right now. But when I went on the site and looked at the wild berry, it looks a lot different. So we'll see if that one survives. As with all these, it's going to be a survivor's game. Um, this pack, none of the acros have really doing great in here. Uh, once again, hot zone Millie. Hopefully it makes it. And the golden basket majestic Millie. Awesome Millie right here. Once again, I, I have to say this one was a lot smaller in size. It's not even an inch, uh, about three quarters, and then maybe that's about half an inch. So I don't know if I need to curve my, my expectations if you're getting two heads on these on these corals or two little fragments like that, that, you know, that makes up for the size difference. I kind of think the whole size and the corals and all this stuff is kind of garbage. I think people really screw people over a lot. I'm not saying that Frag House Corals does that, it's just generic thinking. Everyone advertises, oh I got big, huge, chunky frags, and then you <laughs> you get a nub and you paid 
eighty dollars for it. I think it's a little ridiculous, and people need to start being a little bit more realistic because you're setting people up for failure right from the start by giving them a frag that small. But let me show you what these guys look like under these glasses that I got actually. Okay guys, I think that's about it. Um, I could do maybe a little bit of a brief tank overview. This purple stylo in the back is doing absolutely amazing. It's finally encrusting uh, for, I mean, I've had this in here for, I don't know, when did I post that video about Rico's frag pack? That's where it came from, like eight months ago? Forever ago, really. And that thing finally is starting to take off. I have some cool before and after pictures, uh, or progress pictures of uh, the past month to now, and you could really see the growth on it. I'll, I'll post those in this video. And what else do we got? I'm trying to recover this, this guy right here. Let me fix the white balance. And I'm not sure if I'm having success. It's clinging on to life but we'll find out. Chalice is over here. These guys are doing amazing. I have some cool before. Some progress pictures on these as well. Things are really starting to finally grow. Um, this bird's nest, which I actually think is the same as the bird's paradise. I just think this one doesn't have as good a coloration. So I might have two, but, but that's fine because I'll just grow big and then sell a whole colony to someone. And I don't know what that green one is, and I don't know what that red or purple bluish one is. That one's weird, it kind of changes. Sometimes it's purple, sometimes it looks more blue. Added these, this anemone back here. This guy's been doing great. I just wish he would show himself a little bit more. And then I've got my mushrooms right here. They're doing awesome. Candy canes. Finally split. Sorry, T5 lighting, getting a huge glare off, off that candy cane. Everything else is doing pretty good. This guy's holding on for life. I don't think that thing's been alive in forever. It might be alive, I don't know. But, all right, guys. That is my pack from Raghouse Corals. If you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer your questions. See you guys later.